Hello everyone, good day to all of you. I wanted to talk today, give a review on the Citizen Gear Company cast iron sling. I have one here that I'm wearing in Flectarn. Main reason I wanted to do this video is because I was interested in picking up some of their slings, specifically in Rhodesian brush stroke, which this one right here is, um, because I think it's a cool camo. And uh, I have another sling in Rhodesian brush stroke, one of the contour slings. However, that Rhodesian brush stroke version was uh, a limited edition run. They don't have it anymore, so I had to branch out and look at other options. And uh, during that search, I noticed there's pretty much no actual reviews on this sling. There's some posts on AR15.com discussing it, but aside from that, I couldn't really find anything else. So I wanted to fill that void today and talk about this. So for this review, I'm gonna be comparing the cast iron sling that I have right here and right here uh, with the previous sling that I mentioned, the Contour. This is an excellent sling. Uh, like I said, the only reason I didn't go with another one of these was simply just, uh, I wanted to try out kind of rarer camouflages, which I do think is a pretty big appeal to the Citizen Gear Company slings. They offer a lot of different camo patterns, some just, you know, more rare ones, some kind of strange ones. <laughs> But uh, either way, a lot of options there for customization. And then the last sling I'm also gonna be comparing it to is just the kind of the classic Ferro Concepts Slingster, which uh, most people I think are familiar with it. It's a very good design. My only complaint about the Slingster in specific is the adjustment pole right here is uh, of metal construction. It really scratches up the finish and makes a lot of noise when it's kind of dangling around compared to both of these. The contour sling has a polymer tab, uh, kind of reinforced. And then here on the uh, Citizen Gear Company sling, similarly, it's polymer on the main pole and then uh, just has a sewn in fabric, sort of an extra lever right there. Now looking at the overall construction of this a bit closer. So connects with your regular tri-glides, of course, both ends have that sort of setup. Now do note, this sling right here, I haven't actually mounted it on a rifle yet, this Rhodesian one. And uh, you can see how much extra material they give you. So this will fit pretty much anything. When you do mount it, like I did on this AK, as I said, I have a Flectarn one on here, you will definitely want to cut the excess and uh, just burn the end. Now, as for how this adjusts, I did already mention this a little bit, but looking at this a bit closer, so there is the tab you can see that I was referring to. And here you can see the pull itself made out of fabric, has a little bit of uh, this grippy texture right here that's sewn in. Makes it a lot easier to pull, especially if this were to get wet, uh, or you could you know, kind of loop your finger into the tab here itself. And there you can see that's how it adjusts. It is just like your Slingster or also like the Contour. So moving up from the pull, I wanted to talk about the padding on this Citizen Gear Company sling, comparing it first to the Contour sling, which you can see there's that contour that aptly named. And if you are interested in the contour sling, I did a separate video on that as well. But focusing on the Citizen Gear Company sling. So this one compared to the contour. So here you can see the Citizen Gear Company sling is up here on the top compared to the contour on the bottom. The padding, at least the amount is pretty comparable between the two. However, the contour sling is much more firm padding when compared to the Citizen Gear Company sling, which has a lot more give to it. Um, and also the Citizen Gear Company pad here is a little bit thinner, as you can see, a little bit narrower, I should say. This is sewn in on both ends. So unlike the Contour or unlike the Slingster, uh, you can't adjust where this pad sits. You kind of have to make do with adjusting the fabric ends on both sides of the Citizen Gear Company sling to put the pad where you want it. And this padding is stitched in, you can see, with uh, just some horizontal lines going across the whole length of it. And then you do have their logo at the back right there. Now, Citizen Gear Company does make several versions of their slings. This is the cast iron version, as I had said. They also make a slightly lighter version that's supposed to be a little bit easier to pull, a bit more smooth here. Uh, should be about the same as far as durability is concerned. Uh, and then they also make a version that just doesn't have a pad, if that's something that you prefer. I always like a pad personally. Uh, one thing I would say though, regarding those different versions is, uh, so their cast iron one is supposed to be uh, one that has a little bit more friction to it when you're adjusting it. And I will say this is already extremely smooth. So personally, I would not go with something more simple to you know glide back and forth because I'd be worried that it would be potentially uh, too easy to bump and then might slip out when you're just walking around with it. This is about as 
little friction as I would prefer compared to the other two slings that I have here. So the Lunar Concepts Contour, very similar amount of friction if you're familiar with that, maybe slightly more on this one. Uh, and then comparing it also to the Slingster, that classic metal pole right there. This doesn't translate very well to video, but the Slingster of these three slings is more friction. As far as my own experiences with using this cast iron sling, I haven't had any issues with it trying to move on its own with the adjustment, so I, I like this amount of tension. It's good. Now I did want to talk specifically about the Flectarn Citizen Gear Company sling right here in particular, and it's uh, actually the reason that I'm wearing all Flectarn today is I did want to talk about the pattern, because although this and this is all called Flectarn, uh, it's had a lot of changes over the years. So I have a older style of Flectarn hat um, when it had more vibrant colors, kind of like in the 90s. This is just a repro, but you can see right here that the Flectarn that Citizen Gear Company is using for their pattern, uh, it's more of the new style like I have for my shirt. This is one of the Kohler Flectarn shirts, so you can see pretty well just right there. So last thing I wanted to touch on was the ordering process and the price of these slings themselves. So currently the cast iron slings are going for $40. And uh, that's really, I'd say, a really good price for what you are getting. Uh, I'd say this is very comparable in quality to the Contour Sling, which ultimately is probably still my favorite sling because I do like this contour design. It just helps to keep the rifle at a little bit of a better angle and just kind of sits a bit more comfortably, in my opinion. But this is a little bit less expensive than it and comes very, very close to the performance. Uh, either way, I do like both this cast iron sling as well as the Contour. Uh, I like them both a lot more than the Slingster. Uh, simply because of that metal pull right there. Uh, and I didn't focus too much on the padding of the Slingster right here, but um, I haven't really had an issue with the padding on any of these slings whatsoever. So I, it's not really an issue. Just some padding, in my opinion, is what's nice. But beyond that, I'm not too particular in that regard. But when you do order these, these are actually handmade by Citizen Gear Co. I think it's just a really small operation, maybe just one guy. Um, so it will take a little bit for them to be made. Uh, you'll need to be pretty patient. That's kind of the price you pay in exchange for uh, this kind of custom design, special camos and all that. When I ordered these, I think there was a six to eight week lead time and mine was slightly quicker. I think it was about five weeks when I got mine. So uh, it seems like in general, he'll be a bit quicker than his lead times, but just to understand it will be, uh, it will be pretty, pretty lengthy of a wait regardless. Yeah, I have no qualms about these, and uh, there's a pretty good chance that, despite me preferring the Contour, I'm probably going to end up picking more of these up myself in the future, simply because I do like some of the rarer camo patterns. I do like kind of collecting some camos, so they're cool in that aspect, if nothing else. And um, yeah, they're certainly a really well-built sling. So if you have any other questions on this, by all means, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have one of these slings yourself and you have additional experiences that you want to add. I also would like to hear that. Uh, but if nothing else, I hope that this video helps to kind of fill the void of information that's out there on these Citizen Gear Co. slings. Thank you all for watching. Take care, and I hope to see you all in the next one. See you then.